to open it. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple Live Free. And you know, before we moved down here, I wasn't able to actually help Barry on his uh, re renovation project that he's working on. All I could do was just show you a video of his progress because we only came down here, you know, three or four times a year. But now that I'm living here, I actually have time to help him and that's really cool. I don't help him all the time. I help him, you know, when I can. Also. This is not his main job. Of course, he doesn't get paid for any of this until after he finishes the project and sells the house. So he's got to do other work. So he's just working on this on days that he doesn't have other paid, you know, contracts to do. So on those days when he's working over here, I like to come over and at least give him a few hours of help. And right now we're working on the electrical, which I really enjoy. I'll just run up there real quick. Okay. Pull through, remember? So we're finally finished framing all the inside walls and putting in all the nailers and all that kind of stuff. So now we can start on the electrical work. I think out of all the different disciplines of construction, I enjoy electric the best. I think Barry said the same thing. So Absolutely. Yeah. So we have to uh, run electrical through the whole house and it's always more difficult when you're doing an existing house because you're trying to run through holes up inside the wall instead of just running it like this. But uh, it's challenging and it's considerably more enjoyable than hot, sweaty roofing or something like that. And he's got to go up up top to pull this wire through and there's a crawl space up there about this big <laughs> to get this over to there for the light switch. Well, this corner's done.
So now he's got that long flexible drill bit going all the way through the wall and I can see it inside that hole. And over here you can see we've got the where the receptacles will be and we got we had to punch holes in between so we could run drill holes in the studs to run the wires all the way around. Then we go from there over to the other side. up here, that hole. Yep, there we go. Shows me right where that hole is. That way I know I'm right in the middle of the 2x4 and not trying to punch to the outside of the house. So that's your fishing rod? Yep. Yeah. You gonna catch anything? Catch a wire. Yeah. He's gotta take that rod and push it all the way through the wall over to here so he can attach the wire to it and pull the wire back through. through the wrong hole in this center stud here. There we go. Oh cool. You can see inside the wall with that thing. Yeah. So this hole. Right there. And then that should line up. Pull it back out, see if you can get it in that. So you're going to be down into that one. Put it back on the other side so you can see it. Maybe. Yeah, I can't see what I'm doing from here. Nope, I stuck it through the hole. Now you can see your rod. Move it up and down. Put it right into the camera face. Maybe swing around the back side of that. No, 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 I got it, I got it. There you go.
It moves a different way <laughs> from what I move it. Yeah. Should just go straight forward. Push all the way up against the the stud. I think it's through. Yes, it is. I can see on this side. Okay. See the glow inside. Yep, that's it. Pretty good. All right. I say every day you gotta have the right tools for the job. Absolutely. Now we got the 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 rod through. You can hook a, yep. a thin wire on there to pull it back and then pull the big wire through like with, with that. So this threads into the end of that, um, that rod. So what we'll do is I'll pull it back and then hold it right into the end and get you to just turn that side and thread it right into it. All right. Okay, go ahead and spin. Just gotta find the threads. Yep, that's it. Keep going. You got it. Test it out there. And it's mm -hmm. good. Okay, hold it. So just pull this through? Yep, pull it all the way back out. There we go. Right so I've had quite a few people asking me. Um, why I'm not just taking all the balls out. And yeah, this is a little bit more work to do it like this, but in the long run, it's so much less work because, you know, I mean, it might take us a day to do a room for the electric, but it's, it would take me a week to knock out and replace all the walls just so I can run <laughs> a wire through. And it doesn't make sense to me. So it might be a little bit longer now, but it'll save time in the long run. So now we've got the wire going from there to under the window, and then we got to keep drilling to get it over to that other receptacle right there. I would use this type of bit an auger, self auger, so it just pulls its way through, but they get stuck all the time because they load up where it's three flutes, they load up and ends up getting stuff caught behind it and you can't get it back out. I've lost so many of these in walls because of using an auger, self, self driving auger. Instead of use a, a flat um, paddle bit and they just throw the, the debris everywhere. Yeah, you gotta push on it, but at least you get your bit back. You don't have to abandon your $50 extension. <laughs> I was working in a uh, restaurant um, a few months ago and ended up losing two of them because one of the guys that was, that was working for me didn't know and he put the auger bit. Yeah, that was expensive. <clears throat> anyway.
So now we got the wire going in there, going all the way through, coming out over there. I'll just film me talking about it so I don't have to. Okay. Okay, so in the beginning part of this video, we were working on basically new construction, electrical, running wires downstairs through new walls that he's just built. And then uh, yesterday we were working on running the wires in here. And uh, as you can see, this kind of stuff, running wires through existing walls is considerably slower and considerably more tedious than running wires through new construction. But uh, we got this room done now. This is one of the upstairs bedrooms. And uh, we still have quite a bit to do. Most of the house is gonna be like this. Um, I'm not gonna show you any more of this because it's just more of the same. <laughs> but we're gonna keep working on the electrical. So I hope you're enjoying this. Um, watching the thing with the camera and the wall and all that was pretty tedious, but hopefully you found that to be interesting. So, you know, if you wanna see more videos about this house, Barry does a lot more videos than I do on his channel called Empty Hammock. So I'll do videos occasionally, but if you want to see a lot more, if you want to see the whole process from the very beginning, you can check out Empty Hammock. I'll put a, a link down below in the description for Barry's channel. So I hope you enjoyed that. Live simple, live free. Till next time, be blessed.